Hi, welcome to Ways Out Back. So in this video, I'm just gonna do a really quick short video on uh, sealing our trailers. Now, if you watched my last camping video, you could see that it was one big storm we were in. And during that storm, I had a small leak inside the trailer. So I just wanna show you kind of how I got the diagnosis of where that leak was coming from. And then also what I use to seal it because you know whether we've got a cargo trailer or just a normal trailer there's always leaks that happen and how do we seal those up so we're going to talk about the product I use and how I use it okay let's get started okay so first off the leak so here you can see where it was leaking but this was all covered with sealer so how did I find it well what I did is I ran the hose I would put the hose in the area and just let it run for quite a while then check inside and I'd go back and forth just just checking to see which side I kind of knew it was coming from this area just from where the leak was dripping inside so once I've got the spot here I know what it is you can see what I did is I cleaned off all the loose sealant that's the first step and really make sure this is a nice clean piece of metal sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a scrubby and I'll just scrub it I try not to use acetone because acetone it reacts with this sealant it makes it weak so what kind of sealant I'm using is I'm using the Cicaflex 221 and I like to buy it just off of Amazon because I know it'll be fresh usually if you buy it in a store you don't know how long it's been sitting there for but there you go it comes in in uh, white or gray or black I think but this one you can see it's aluminum gray that's what I use which is perfect for a trailer it can also seal uh, any composite material and even wood but it's recommended mostly for metal often to seal the panels when they're applying the panels and also for any joints so let's get this done and then I'll retest it okay so here you can see kind of what I'm using to scrape it so this is a sanding pad and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in there going over it's just going to knock all the loose stuff free and it'll make sure that it's got a very good mechanical area to bind to Let's get some sealant on there now. I'm just going to angle it so it goes right down into that crack there. So this sealant here, it's tack free in an hour and fully cured in seven days. So I just wanted to share that quick little video with you. I hope that helps a little bit. Maybe you're in the process of building your own cargo trailer or just sealing something up, or even a travel trailer, it's gonna work the same. But I just wanted to share that product. I've used it quite often. I'm not, obviously I'm not sponsored by them. I bought it just like everybody else buys it. I've tried quite a few different products and this one is awesome. It really sticks well if you prepare the surface properly. If you've got a dirty surface or a wet surface, forget it, it's not gonna work but good preparation, follow the steps that are on the bottle and it will stick really well. So I appreciate too, comment below if you've used that product or if you've used a different product that you thought worked well because I'll try it, I'll give it a shot. I've got lots of things going on and I like to try different stuff. The one thing is with this product it is pretty expensive. I think it was probably you know, 21 bucks for that tube off of Amazon. I'll post below, I'll post an affiliate link. Uh, so I will get a little bit of a commission from it, but it doesn't cost you any more than you would if you were to just buy it for yourself. Anyways, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.